and if there's somebody else's milk on that video, you would have or, on that video. Hey everybody, you are watching Echowood Holstein's YouTube channel, and today we are going to show you uh, the milking, um, a lot of the milking. We had some requests in the comments about people wanting to see the milking, so we're going to do that today. Right now, what's going on, they're just getting done with the first shift. With the first shift, they started at 5 o'clock this morning, and they're cleaning up and getting ready for the noon shift. This is an all We go through and, like, everything gets scrubbed once a day, like, totally scrubbed, like, pretty much hot. There's no water, no steam, really anywhere. And then, after the second and third milking is when um, we hose it down and scrub a little bit and make sure the units and everything are all solid and everything gets washed with the pipeline washer for the stainless and the filters get changed and everything gets scrubbed up except like the walls and stuff is what gets scrubbed in the morning that don't get scrubbed uh, the other two balconies. So, that's what they're doing right now. Just cleaning up, getting ready to start mounting at uh, 1 o'clock. And we're going to show you guys how we do it. This is, this is the milk house. We have two 4,000 gallon tanks. We milk into this one. This number two tank, it's called, until it's full. And then there's a sensor. And then we put the rest in number one. And, um, we make enough milk here on our farm for 100,000 people to have an 8 ounce glass of milk a day. So that's actually more than 100,000, more like uh, 115,000 people. So that'd be like, for people you that know this area, that'd be like everybody in Eau Claire and everybody in our town of Neosville, plus some more, to have an 8 ounce glass of milk. Now, that's not supplying them with all their dairy needs. That's just like one glass of milk per person. But if you figure cheese and everything else, there wouldn't be nearly that many people. So, anyhow, uh, these are the filters for the milk coming in. There's two four inch filters here. And we change those every milking. This right here is the wash tank for the pipeline. It is washed and ready to go. This fills up with water and then it circulates throughout the parlor to clean the inside of all the lines. The bulk tank washers are over here on the wall. The one is actually washing right now. This one, this number two, this first one. So that milk, they, they're actually, they actually come twice a day to pick the milk up. Hey Pedro. How are you? Good, we're gonna make a video of you today. Milking. Yes, milking. Yeah. So, the milkman comes twice a day. That one's full. The number one thing? Yeah. Okay, so. It's 38 degrees. 38 degrees, yeah. Sir. These are the thermometers up here. So your the milk is cooled down to 38, and then the milkman picks it up. He puts his hose through the wall. Yep, puts his hose through the wall right here. This is my place. What, Abigail? This is my place. This, yeah, this is your place. So. Yeah, they're pretty much done cleaning in here. The, any, any treated cows get milk last. So that's one reason that you have to wash the line out three times a day because you do not want antibiotics in the milk. And antibiotics is what would happen is you would send your milk to the plant and they test it actually before it leaves here and they test it and then they run those samples before the milk gets unloaded. And if you had what they call hot milk, which would be antibiotics in it, you would, um, they would dump the, the whole semi load of milk. If there's somebody else's milk on the tank, you would also have to pay for their milk. 
So the other thing we do four to five times a week, I think we're doing it four times right now, is run a foot bath on the new milking. So we put copper sulfate in the foot baths right here. It's, it's for hook health. And then we're filling it up with water. And then the cows all walk through this to uh, um, keep their feet clean and kill bacteria and other to uh, prevent hairy, hairy warts and foot rots and other things that they could get. Hey, Alexi. <coughs> from uh, walking in the manure. So there's a foot bath on each side. This is called the holding area. This is where the cows, this is where they um, stand before they come into the parlor. So they, they come up this lane here. We're going backwards right now, but they come up this lane and they go into the holding area here and then they wait here in this area until they go into the parlor to get milked. So. Then they come in here and this is actually a double 12 parlor. Franny's up there getting the towels ready. The meters? For tags? Yeah. yeah. So every cow We'll show you once they get up here, but they got a round chip in their ear. It's a RFID button, and that gets red on these boards right here. So it's always in the left ear of the cow, so it'll get red on this one, on this side. And then on, uh, if they come in here on the other side of the parlor, there's a board here on the left, right here. So, and that's the... Uh, it's uh, the controller, I think, is what it's called. I don't know for sure the name of it. But we'll get some uh, good footage here. This is actually the crowd gate. Pedro is just backing it up. So this, we're in the holding area here. And this crowd gate's going to go back behind them to hold, to keep the cows separ separated that are getting milk. And that need to get milk and have that milk. It's run by air. So this is pen four. This is the pen that we start milking with. Start, mil start milking on. Um, we take half the pen at a time and milk them. And then when the holding area starts getting down there, we bring the other half up. So we're gonna go up there and show them going into the parlor. Okay, so this is the first, this is pen four, just coming up to the parlor. How are you, 374? Huh? You gonna lick the camera? Cows are just nosy. Right? Pen fours are older cows. They most of these have had three to four calves. are creatures of habit so they want to get fed the same time every day they want to get milk the same time every day and or the same time three times a day and they just like routine they don't like it when something gets changed up they like to get in a, a, a pattern and stay in the pattern it's just they that's when they perform the best even in the parlor the same cows will come up first a lot of times usually the same cows will be in the parlor first, and the same cows will be in the parlor last. And the same cow usually comes up 
for you to pack. Let's see if I can grab her tongue. So the first cows came in the parlor by themselves here. We got 24 cows standing in here. We got 12 cows on each side. What, 1,200? 12 cows. Oh, oh, I think On each side. Oh, yeah, this cow, she's special. She's got five teats. She's got five? Oh yeah, she's got a little one right here. Mm. Is what Alexi's doing here is he's going through. We'll just show you the steps. First he's stripping, you take four strips out of each, each uh, quarter and then the thing in his right hand here is an iodine foamer and he's foaming, foaming the teats to disinfect them and then we let that sit on there for about 40 seconds and we do four cows at a time so he's going to get these four cows, he's got them stripped and dipped and now he's coming through with a rag a clean towel on every cow, and he's massaging the teats to get them ready for milk like that. So on the computer here, this is cow number 980. This are the, these are the RFID buttons in your ears, and then it's saying that she's expected to give 27 pounds during this milking, and um, it'll tell how long the milker was on her and everything else. And so 227. He's only expected to give 17 pounds. But now 788, she's expected to give 49 pounds. So she's milking not quite 150 pounds a day. 8049 is expected to give 45. Oh. 83 is expected to give 39. 8049 is the cow I want to show him to the winter star. Yep. So here's Alexi putting on the <laughs> That's the first four cows of the chef. And there will be another person in here milking. We milk the two people in the parlor. And she'll be in here in a minute. I just wanted to get the first cows. So this is a view of the cows from the front as they're getting milk. They're kind of curious of who this crazy guy is. Can and this crazy I girl. Hi. Hi. Huh? No. Not right now, because they're getting out and it's really not, like we're kind of disrupting their routine. Like they usually don't have somebody walking around in front of them up here, so they're really wondering what's going on. This is Amy Baby. What? See the little white button in her ear? Right there, beside her yellow ear tag? That is the RFID button. And that's what the computer's reading. You can see in 2609, underneath her ear here, there's a little white button. That's the RFID. And they all got that. So then we know what every cow is giving every chef. So this cow was done. Her milker just came off automatically. Yep. Mm -hmm. She gave this, more than she was expecting. This, this one's done. It's coming off. Mm -hmm. So this milker was on her for, well, the time's not up there anymore. This, this milker's been on this cow for, it was, 3.1 minutes and she gave 19 pounds. This mountain was on for three minutes and she gave 25 pounds. And this, this one here has been on for 3.6, 3.7, which is up to uh, 39 pounds. This one here has been on for 3.5.
now this section is all done. The last milker's coming off, and then this side's gonna go out. And then 12 more cows will come in. There's a, this is how we know how much milk cow gets through the meters. That pole's not dipping. Nope. Okay, so the first side is done being dipped with the tikia. And then they're going out. So this this vertical lift in the front goes up so all the cows can go out. And she puts it back down, opens the gate, and the next group comes in. And then here's the cows that are done being milked, and they're going to go through this foot bath. You don't want the foot bath any deeper than that. You're just wasting um, wasting uh, chemical if you do. You want it between the dew claws and the hoof. You don't, definitely don't want it above the dew claws. And if you do put more water in it, chances are your solution isn't the strength it should be because there's too much water and it gets diluted. Is that you again? It is. 374. You find me no matter where you are. Cycled water, so it, the water will go through the plate cooler and then it'll be used for the cows. But when it comes through the plate cooler, um, there's no nothing that will touch that water except for stainless steel, and uh, that's why we use uh, the system because it saves us a lot of water and doesn't run our well um, so much. All right, so it's perfect timing because. Uh, the milk man just showed up. Well, he's been here for a few minutes. But uh, we were in here, we were out filming somewhere else. And he's here with his semi out there. And uh, he's just filling it up through that hose and it's going through the wall. And then out to his truck back there. And uh, his truck has his own pump, so that's what he's doing now. He's collecting from the tank that was full earlier and it got cooled and he's here now to pick it up. Mm -hmm. 